Well, I've had a couple people ask me about my deer management, or I should say the deer management portion of my life. And uh, this is it, this is part of it. Uh, this is a corn patch, probably three acres that I planted. Uh, you can see it's sparse. There's mist spots, but in, a, in a, uh, a food plot for deer, you don't really worry about, you know, am I getting 6,000 bushels an acre? It doesn't matter. You know, an 80, 80, 90 bushel acre field for a corn food plot is, is su suffice, I should say. But uh, most of these stocks ended up with a couple ears on them, and that's fine. My goal in life is to get these deer to about St. Patrick's Day. Here in Northwest Pennsylvania, where I live, uh, it, the weather's just atrocious until that time frame. And uh, you can see the, the candy right there hanging from the dirty sock. And a deer at a young age, they use their nose. I mean, a deer makes its living off its nose. One of the longest olfactory systems on the planet and uh, there you go so the fact that there's a lot of food left here uh, we are in the first week of December I expect that now obviously a deer is going to eat outside in so the fact that there's quite a bit of food here on the outside still uh, in in December is a good thing so we should winter these deer real well uh, you want to grow big racks this is how you do it right here and this isn't the only thing I plant that'll be in another video but uh, yep this is just a continuation of me acting a fool out on a whaler and I wanted to say that uh, the video the other day that 15 second video it's actually a thing it's called YouTube shorts and their videos they're supposed to be 60 seconds or less and that one turned out to be 16 so that's the shortest video I've ever done. Yeah, this stuff's right up to the frame. You don't think you can get stuck on a four-wheeler, I'm here to tell you. Yeah, you can. I mean, nothing beats a sled in the winter. All right, so you remember back in the summer I planted that clover food plot, and uh, you can see the in here they're they're doing some digging, dog diggity do, and uh, they like that green. They want that green this time of year, but it's the the BTUs on the other side of this cornfield. There's beans, so they've got you know, if if I had a choice, if we didn't get so much snow, I would plant less corn really because corn you're looking at what seven eight percent protein tons of BTU, tons of energy, uh, and that's what they need in the winter. But uh, soybeans is actually better for them because they get the BTU from the oil in the soybean, soybeans with a higher protein content. So it, it's building bo their bodies up while they're staying warm. This just has a tendency to keep them, keep them, I don't know, keep them warm. But nothing like a corn-fed deer. They taste great.